so let me see the next concept that is design concepts as i said you the definition of software design it encompasses with set of principles design concepts and the sort of the things which is going to be doing over there the design concepts over here will be added with the help of to make a good design with the help of this only we can do it the design concepts talks about the set of the fundamental software design concept has evolved over the history of software engineering over the evolved over the history of the software engineering and each helps you the following answers has to give for the following questions what criteria can be used to partition software into individual components like when you are dividing as a modules for any project we had to see such a way that how you are going to be dividing into one one Two, three, four, five, six models or modules over there. So these modules, on which criteria are you thinking that with the help of the schedule, like this project has taking six months of time, that's why I need to be uh, make as six parts. Or if you are saying this project will be involved three or four departments to complete the project, we need to say as four modules for that. What is the main criteria to partition the total entire software into? individual components here each component called as a module and how is function or data structures detail separate from a conceptual representation of the software means the function or data structure whatever you are going to using for making a fulfillment of this design as you remember we are going to have one of the goal for the design is making a appropriate data structure right so that making appropriate data structure use some conceptual representation of the software and what uniform criteria defines the technical quality of the software design uniform criteria in the sense the output of any software design is high quality software or high quality product to make sure that quality what is the uniform criteria what is the uniform criteria to define the technical quality now define the quality technical quality in the sense up to how much you are going to be making the measurement for that quality in the sense how you satisfy when any company had developed for a product to you means whether it is correctly working then it is the that is the expectation how you are going to measuring that is a quality if the program is if the project is run successfully then you are thinking that there is a quality or for any up and, up and downs in the power frustrations or some other if the software is not fail if the software is not crash then that is the quality in your measurement in your point of that if it is not happen then that is a quality now what is your measurement how you justify if the cost of the software development is less then that is a quality for you or if the size of the software which is going to giving them is less like uh, less than 10 mb then it is the quality measurement for you now what is the uniform criteria how you are defining the technical quality of the software design so if you answer these three questions then definitely the fulfillment of the design is completed the first question what is the criteria to divide and how is function or data structures detail separated from a conceptual representation of the software and what uniform criteria defines the technical quality of software design okay now coming to the list of the design concept which we are required to make sure this one the first one is abstraction the second architecture the third patterns the fourth one separation of concern the fifth one modularity the fifth one information sixth one information hiding functional independence refinement refactoring aspects design classes okay so please make a note over here so that uh, we can fulfill this make a note of all this because it's a big uh, concept design concept in the sense abstraction architecture patterns separation of concerns modularity information hiding functional independence refinement refactoring aspects design classes make sure all these are the minimum design concept this is a damn sure question in all the examination maybe it's a mid or external okay please make a note of this
right if you know on that let me start with the first uh, topic that is abstraction so abstraction talks about uh, many levels of abstractions we can talk over here like we have four different uh, types of abstractions one is the highest level the second one lower levels the third one procedural abstraction the fourth one data abstraction if we talk over here the different different abstraction high level low level procedural and data these are the four different abstractions are there so make a note of this four types of uh, abstractions highest level lower level procedural abstraction and data abstraction if we talk about the highest level of abstraction it deals with the solution is stated in broad terms using language of the problem environment using the language of the problem environment in the sense it is a solution is stated in broad terms in broad terms in the sense what we are just giving a high level of details but not giving in details about that only what is what and if you are need more details about this description it talks about the lower levels okay the third type of abstraction is procedural abstraction we deals with the sequence of instructions we are going to giving over here the sequence of instruction the name itself is a procedural procedure means what following step by step following some sequence of steps sequence of instructions that is specific and limited function the best example how to open a door means we need to be walk to the door first of all reach out and grabs the knob we can have make a nap knob of that and turn the knob and pull the door and step away from moving the door these are the minimum steps to open a door right we had to first go there make a knock open it like this so this type of giving details is called as procedural abstraction if it deals with the data abstraction it the name itself talks about the collection of data that describes a data means in the sense uh, describes of this that describes a data object for example if the data abstraction for a door is example door type or swing direction swing direction is like how it will be it is a rounded swing or it will be handle type of swing what is the opening mechanism opening mechanism is like when you near go to the near to the door automatically will open or physically we need to be open the door or what is the weight of that door or handle the dimensionality of that giving such type of details such type of data describes the door describes that is comes under data abstraction describing a particular object data object it comes under data abstraction giving step by step procedure will comes under procedure abstraction giving more details will comes under lower level abstraction giving high level of details just a broad terms in the broad terms that comes under highest level of abstraction okay as i said by jockson he said that the beginning of a wisdom for software engineering is to recognize the difference between getting a program to work and getting it right it is not mean that if the program is running it is not mean that the entire is correct that is program to work getting a program to work and getting it right is both are different concepts getting it right means what if you develop a program for addition of two numbers 2 plus 3 if you give 2 3 as an input it gives 5 but when you give the input as uh, character a and a float number 33.5 then what will happen whether it is getting corrected give the correct inputs like this or the reality is summing for that meaning of here is the fundamental software design concepts here the fundamental software design concept provide the necessary framework for getting it right getting it right in the sense it has to not getting a program to work but it has to getting it in a right way right way in the sense correct way so that's how the jackson has said the definition so we are dealing with the software design concept is for making getting it right instead of getting it work okay the second topic is architecture in the coming to the architecture the second uh, design concept this is a second design concept coming to the definition of software architecture first of all the definition of software architecture is the structure or organization of program components 
organization of program components components in the sense as just, uh, just no said modules the manner in which these components interact the interaction between the component to component and the structure of data that are used by the component structure of data means what the input inside how it will be used that one the input for this the design is software architecture so software architecture is the structure or organization of components how good you are going to be organizing if you consider entire is a system like if you consider as a laptop is an entire system how the components what are the components are there motherboard ram hard disk the screen the keyboard where how you are organizing everything keyboard will not be coming to the place of screen screen will not be coming to the place of keyboard like we required some structure where we can fit this model in a manner such a way that how these are going to be interconnected how they, they are going to interconnecting with the help of buses right with the help of inside buses buses in the sense the wires which are called as buses over there and the structure of the data how it is going to be make that to process that one to process that and the structure of data that are used by the components so in simply we can say software architecture is a structure or organization of program components and also the manner in which these components are going to be interconnected and the structure of data that are used by components right and as part of the shah and garland in the 1995 they define or they describe the set of properties to be specified as a part of architectural design the first property it is going to talking about the structural properties the second extra functional properties and the third it is going to be little bit of the other families of related system which will be uh, other properties will be comes out there coming to the first property of this is structural properties where it deals with the modules objects and filters if you define this it will comes under structural properties and if you see here the modules properties objects properties filter properties if you are giving that it all will comes under structural if you see the extra functional properties means how the design architecture means how the design architecture achieves the requirements for making performance capacity reliability security adaptability and other system characteristics it will be make sure means of this is how the design architecture achieves the requirements requirements in the sense just now has said you perps if you are ps perps functionality usability reliability performance and scalability in the same fashion here also how good these are all the non functional requirements we can say extra functional property means non functional requirement structured property means functional requirements right when you coming to this another definition given by the lenbas for software architecture is a software architecture is the development work product is a development work product it is not actual product but development of work product that gives the highest return of investment highest return of investment with respect to the quality schedule and cost so by seeing the quality schedule and cost of a particular design we can come to a conclusion that how much of high return of investment will come or yes or why how will becomes over there because it is a development working model even though it is not a actual working model it gives a development working model for you we can by seeing that one we can easily measure the quality schedule and cost so that we can expect the return of investment over here and we have different types of architectural models over there the architecture models like we have the architecture models the first one is structural models the second one framework models the third one dynamic models the fourth one process model and fifth one the functional models based on our requirement based on our the design we are going to be talking one after the other like we can use one after the other if you talk about the structural models it deals with the organized collection of program components when you want to use you can use simply when you are designing the modules or objects or any other sort of it can use the structural models when we can use this framework models means when you want more abstract means more details when you want to more abstract over there if you want to give only the high level things then you can talk about uh, you can use framework models when you see the dynamic models when you are going to be talking about the behavior of the system behavior of the product behavior aspects when you are talking about there 
can draw with the help of dynamic models when you deals with the the business point or the technical feasibility like with the cost and when you deals with the some sort of time speed then you can use the process models and the functionality models represents about used to represent the functionality uh, functional hierarchies of a system over here okay so based on our need based on our conveying the message the uh, graphical representation you can use maybe structural models or you can use the framework models or dynamic models or the process models or you can use the functional models so in this architecture what we have discussed is the definition of software architecture and the properties how we can define for a architectural design another definition for software architecture and with soft architectural models and simply how we can develop this models is with the help of adls like we have a different programming languages for developing of something here also for describing an architecture we can use adls adl stands for architectural description languages but here we don't have in the syllabus the adls it is for advanced software engineering there will be the concepts of adls architectural description languages so for the purpose of describing this models whatever we had discussed just now structural functional or maybe the dynamic models based on our need that odd models can be all models can be described over there coming to the third topic of this one totally we have 11 different topics in the design concept right coming to the third topic of this one patterns so patterns is a very interesting uh, one if you see the pattern pattern is what how the shape look likes how the pattern each pattern describes a problem which occur over and over means which occur over and over which occur over and over in the sense what over and over in the sense it will be same solution we can use for multiple times then it can call as pattern so each pattern describes a problem which occurs over and over again in your or our environment and it describes the core of the solution to that problem just how it will look like by seeing the pattern we can see whether how much the quality is there by touching any cloth in the market we can see what is the quality of that by looking the appearance of that cloth we can decide how it look like in the same fashion by seeing that pattern we can describes the core solution of that particular problem so simply we can say in a such a way that we can use the solution a million times over the same solution we can use the million times over without ever doing it the same way twice instead of using twice thrice the same solution developing you can use the same solution for multiple times so this definition has given by the cryptographer alexander each pattern means describes a problems which occurs over and over again in our environment and simply describes a pattern can describes the core of the solution to that problem so a pattern can be determined the description here we are saying that describes the core of the solution right so what it will be gives what it will be describes means it describes whether the pattern is applicable to the current work or not it describes it describes whether the pattern can be reused or not it describes whether the pattern can serve as a guide for developing a similar but functionally or structurally different patterns is it will be a base for that and uh, the developing of another patterns we can use that as a base for the another pattern but we can use the same pattern having a base to develop of different similar patterns over there but only the difference between that pattern and the pattern is functionality functionally or structurally it will be different so giving this details in a particular pattern whether the pattern is applicable to the current work or whether the pattern can be reused or whether the pattern can serve as a guide for developing a similar but functionally or structural different patterns it describes that one okay now the coming to the uh, we can talk about the suppression of concerns the fourth subheading suppression of concern here suppression of concern the fourth uh, design concept the separation of concern in the sense like when you consider as a, this is a entire is a system each separation means each module this is one entire system will make a concerns these are the separations 1 2 3 separation is nothing but dividing into modules and make sure all the modules are going to be integrated so separation of concern is a design concept agree that suggests any complex problem 
can be more easily handled more easily handled how if you divide that problem into subdivision or into the pieces that each can be solved in a optimized and independent way so if it is an entire system we are dividing into six different subdivisions sub modules each module is called as a piece and each piece can be solved as a individual or independently can be solved right now we are saying it is separation separation means separating that into another concern means what concern means like first module is not the same as second module second module is not the same as fourth third module third module is not the same as fourth module each module here called as a feature or each module can be defined as a, a behavior that specified as a part of the requirements model for the software so each module for example if you consider as a system in system we have a printer mouse keyboard monitor and maybe have uh, the other different different uh, modules or the the functionality whatever the monitor is performing is not the performed by mouse whatever the functionality performed by the mouse is not performed by the keyboard whatever the keyboard functionality uh, performed is not performed by the printer it is a different feature feature is nothing but different functionality it is giving so simply a concern is a feature of or a behavior that is specified as a part of the requirement model for that software okay so these are the four concepts uh, we have studied in this one one is abstraction architecture patterns and separation of concern okay the rest of the things uh, we'll talk about in next okay so up to the 11 concept we have completed four concept up to the separation of concept